Happy March! Um, welcome back to my channel if you're new. I'm Michelle. It's been a while since I picked up the camera to film. Today's video is going to be a huge closet clean out. I've been meaning to do that for a couple of weeks now, but I just keep procrastinating and I wanted to do it on camera um, just to keep myself accountable. I think right now I'm in the right mood. I'm like dressed to work. Um, and yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing today. I need to get some of the older pieces that I can't donate or sell to recycling. Um, and then I'll pick out some that I want to donate and then some that I want to sell. I have an Instagram account that I put all my pre-loved clothes so if you want to check that out um, I will link it down below oh but before we get started I wanted to show you guys this necklace my friend Zoe um, she designed this necklace with Anna Luisa and Anna Luisa is one of my favorite friends I've worked with them before on this channel it's like a really pretty tulip design she's talked more about it in her video which I will link down below as well but she sent one to me so that I can have my own thanks Zoe if you're watching I absolutely love it I just wear it every day since getting it and I don't know it's the perfect everyday piece um, and also it's perfect for layering I have a few shorter necklaces and chokers that I can layer with this one so I'm so excited to style it but yeah that is pretty much it without further ado let's get into the closet clean out okay I already have one luggage full of clothes um, here and this luggage has the clothes that I want to sell but now we're gonna get into the meaty section of my closet clean out <laughs> welcome to my closet um, we are going to start from the tops these are my hanging slash go out tops let's get started we have a long day ahead what I'm going to do is take out section by section and then go keep donate or sell so this top I actually really love it I think I'm gonna keep it it's from Shopo definitely keeping my ASOS razor tee um, these two and then just go right back in there I think I'm going to have to let this one go I just it's not my style anymore these two cute tops oh it's so hard hey I I think I'm gonna keep the gingham one I reckon I might just sell it I think it's still in amazing condition it's from the editors market it's one of the older pieces there is this cropped top maybe I could keep it for work I don't know I'll just keep this for now or this can be in the maybe pile okay well my t-shirts definitely have to stay I'm a huge t-shirt girl these are both from Paul and Bear and I've had them for quite some time so these two are going to go back in the closet well as for these ones I think I'm gonna keep this just because it's a good basic to have I don't think I've worn this at all recently so I'm gonna have to let it go oh this is like I've got this um, cute off-shoulder top from Zara I think I'm gonna keep it because I'm like a basics girl next I have this um, Brandy Melville bodysuit I like it but I just don't think it's very me anymore I think I'm gonna have to let it go now we are moving along pretty nicely I'm getting a good cleanse out of the darker colors so far so great progress the blacks are done and I'm going to move into the greys I got it off my friend at our flea two years ago I think I'm gonna keep this this one is a definite keeper this is my apparel t-shirt I love their t-shirts it's just so soft and comfy I've had this t-shirt for the longest time at least I'd say eight years and it's so comfy and cozy and I am going to keep this one there is this grey top I just don't think I would have any use for it right now so I'm gonna put that in the donate pile same for this one I think it's time to let it go <laughs> I've also had this for the longest time this is also from cheap well definitely keeping this this is one of my favorite tops this is really good for work um, just like a nice collared shirt you guys have already seen it in one of my hauls this one I'm gonna keep too just because it's really nice and breezy especially for the hotter weather I love it it's so cute okay these ones are staying this t-shirt I've had for ages through uni I think I'm gonna just change it to be like a home t-shirt this one is like 
good for work I guess it's pretty formal um, chiffon material this top I've also had for such a long time and I honestly love it I think it's great for homeware yeah this one definitely staying also love this one this one's staying as well I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of any of the neutral pieces just because um, I haven't had them for that long and I think they're really good for just going with any outfit really I would keep this one I think it's nice for homeware my mom actually gave me this last week or two weeks ago it's like a cute sleeve because you know how it's really popular now just to wear a sleeve so I am definitely keeping this and I've also got this top recently from the closet lover my white section is probably the largest one so we've got a lot of work to do there the first one is this oversized shirt I just don't think that it's for me anymore this one is to stay for sure I need more of these tops for work well I also have this piece it's pretty much similar just way thinner I can keep it for layering because it's so thin it'll work pretty nicely this one's gonna stay for sure this one is from Princess Polly this top I don't think I'm gonna <laughs> keep it same for this one I think I am also going to be letting it go it's just not really my style anymore it definitely is a cute piece but I just don't know if I would gravitate towards it this one's really nice I've worn it quite a few times this is from new look I think I can still keep it for work so many white pieces I'm like not even through them this one's just another bra top from Uniqlo that one's staying I think it's so cute perfect for like just weekend where if you're not doing anything much I think it's pretty cute I definitely am going to keep this one I love it it's from the editors market I don't know if you guys remember seeing it on my Instagram last year this is another editors market piece that I've had for ages I think this is gonna go into the baby pile it's really trendy so definitely gonna be keeping this one this is a um, off shoulder top from Brandy Melville and I actually love it I still wear it this one's gonna stay this one I'm gonna have to let go it's just not I don't think I want to keep it anymore this holder top as well I think I'm gonna let it go because it's the cloth is already really loosening up around the neck my racer top from cotton on which I wear so often and I absolutely love second half of my white clothes this top is from Shopo this is actually part of a set with a skirt that I have I think I'll keep this just for the full set I think I'm gonna let it go maybe it's good for work change my mind I'm gonna keep it for work okay this bodysuit is staying it's super flattering it's from anybody and I love it this one is from Mello it's their collab with Barbie and I absolutely love it so definitely getting a stay from me this is my eggy top that I got um, from Jen In's clothing line one of Eggy's first pieces and so it, it has sentimental value to me well the rest are t-shirts these ones are all staying um, they're all like my favorite ones that I always <laughs> wear and I look at the ones that I'm gonna let go I think this one I'm definitely gonna let go this one I am on the fence about might just keep it to be in the home pile thing for this one I think I'm gonna just keep it in the home pile and swap out some of my current home clothes if they're too old this is a cropped t-shirt which honestly is not cropped not here nor there so I might have to cut it a little bit so definitely keeping this one this one is from my CNY Pomelo collab which I am going to keep as well it's very cute and unique this is really funny piece because my family got like matching Hawaiian t-shirts so I think this one's gonna stay for now this one is just a really basic tank top which I'm going to keep and this off shoulder red top I, can, I haven't worn it in such a long time so I think it's time to let it go this one as well I don't think I've worn it at all so also letting that go this is just a cute basic to have I am going to keep this one this has been a nice couple tea that we got in um, Korea so I'm gonna keep this one and this is also another t-shirt I got in Korea I'm going to just pop it into the folding section this is my absolute favorite Ben's mom got it for me this one's 
definitely going to stay. This one, um, I've just, I just don't think it's my color anymore. So this is from Supre. Um, back when I lived in Perth, I wore this so much, and I'm gonna keep it for sentimental reasons. Well, this top my friend gave to me. Um, I think it's pretty cute. I might still wear it um, here and there, so I'm gonna keep this one first. These two are just simple tank tops. I might keep them just because they're versatile. Um, I've also got this uh, really pretty collet top with asymmetrical buttons and then t-shirt from a Pero label. I love them. It's in 30 minutes and I'm still on the tops um, and we're only halfway done but we'll not give up. I'm gonna keep this one, this one. These two definitely I love them. Um, these ones are all being staying. This is also something I got from Ben's sister. So I'm going to keep it for the time being. This used to be one of my absolute favorite tops, but I just think the color is not me anymore. This t-shirt is also, I think it's perfect for homewear. This one definitely keeping one of my favorite tops from Ganda Clothing. I'm going to keep this as well. This is from Brandy Melville. This is one of my favorite tops as well. It's from Ganda Clothing. I just love this one. This is just a basic cropped Top. I also have this one that is from Mello. I that one's staying. I thought it was pretty cute. I'll just keep it for now. I think I'll just keep these two. And then I've got the really cute knitted cup top that I love. Finally, an another racer cut. We are done with the yellow. So far, the progress is really good. These are the cloaks that I've kind of taken out from my wardrobe. Okay, green. So we'll start with the t shirts. This one I got from Pull and Bear and then a pair of labels. So these are all staying. I think it's still good for work. So I might keep it. So these two, again, racer cut tops that I love. This one is a bra top that I got online as well. Okay, well, this one I think I'm going to let go. I've had it for quite some time now. I'm keeping. I love it. It's from Pomelo. So is this one. This one's also saying it's another trendy piece from Princess Polly. My absolute favorite top from Princess Polly. This is from Pull and Bear and honestly, it is time to go. This crop top is from Pomelo. I mean, I think it's pretty cute. So I will just keep this for now. Oh, I just have these two crop tops from um, Brandy Melville. I think I'm going to just keep this one. This is also another Mickey Mouse t-shirt. I just love Mickey Mouse. So I'm going to keep this one. This is from Zara. I had I got it maybe six years ago and um, I think I'm just going to keep it for now. This one I'm keeping. It's from Brandy Melville. We got it in New York um, with Ben's it's actually super flattering when you wear it on so I don't know should I keep it or not I'll just keep it for now okay well this one I think I'm gonna have to let go just because the prints and color just is not me anymore so. okay the lighter blues so this one I'm definitely keeping it's a couple tea Ben and I second couple tea this pomelo um, cardigan it's really cute I still love it and I love the message on it so this is another cute basic top perfect to have in your wardrobes these cute um, summery tops are staying for sure. This is from Princess Polly and I love it. This is from the Editor's Market, another cropped top. I've taken like an hour just to get through these. Well, these last bits are some of my newer clothes that I haven't worn out yet. So they're definitely staying. And I think that's pretty much it to the tops. I'm going to take a quick break and then come back to do the second half of my wardrobe. So now that um, the top part is complete, let's do the bottom. I just have my jackets down here, just some of them. This is my high school leavers jacket. This is Michelle. <laughs> I have this cardigan from Ali. I'm gonna keep that. I don't think I need this one anymore. So I might just put this aside. These are all just my blazers. So these ones are all saying my jacket. This is another long sleeve top. These are all saying. But I think I'm going to let this one go just because the orange isn't really my color anymore. I have this long sleeved top from Naked Fashion. I'm just gonna keep this one for now and see how we go. This is quite a pretty top from Mello. This is another long sleeved piece and this one's pretty sheer which I think it's actually really pretty and elegant. This one's from Mello. I just think it's super cute. This one is definitely going. I just don't see myself wearing black. Um, a sheer black top. These are just some of my pants. This is a maxi skirt but I don't think I'm I would wear it 
anytime soon. Oh my god, there's a bee. There's a bee. I need to close the window. Okay, I got distracted by the bee, but we're good now. So, um, this maxi skirt was actually part of a set with this top. I'm gonna keep it for now. This pants is from Brandy Melville that Ben got me for our anniversary. This piece is actually my first pricier piece that I've ever bought myself as a graduation gift. Um, I got this from Forever New. I am going to keep this. These are more pants. I've got two green pants which I'm keeping from Pull and Bear which I'm also keeping. I have so many of these from the editor's market and I just think that they're really versatile. And this one is a maxi skirt. So, which I think is really good to have as well. More of these pants, which I'm keeping. All these I'm keeping. This is the maxi skirt I was telling you guys about. Um, that went with the other top. And I think it's really pretty. So, definitely keeping this. I am going to say goodbye to this piece. Well, my last pair of pants is this one from Pomelo. I will keep all of my pants just because I need them for work. To be honest, I think I've only, I've very recently cleared them out. So it may be this one. I don't think I will wear this one anymore. It's super bright, colorful and fun, but going to sell that one. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I'm also going to say goodbye to this piece. It's actually a little bit loose on me. And actually these hangers are the best thing. We got them from Ikea and they're just really good for hanging skirts. I don't think I have that many um, denim skirts, so they can pretty much all stay. So this is it for this part. Um, I'm pretty happy with the amount of clothes that I did take out. Next up, let's look at the dresses. So welcome to the dresses section. These are some of my more Chinese outfits I am going to keep. My dresses are also kind of sorted according to the color that they are. I start off with the reds. This dress I got from Zalora. I am going to keep this one. It's just a cute summer dress. I am going to keep it. For this piece I am going to have to say goodbye to it because I have outgrown it in size. So I will be saying goodbye to this one. And the last two Oh, this is from Gunda Clothing. This is from Princess Polly. I am going to be keeping these two dresses. So we have uh, the pinks. This first one is a teapal from my mother. And you guys really loved it as well. So that makes me really happy. Next we have this jumpsuit. This one's going to the sell slash donate pile. I just don't think this is my style anymore. So I am going to be parting ways with this piece. It was originally my mom's. It's really pretty with like mandarin collar but i think i'm gonna let it go and it's just a really beautiful dress this one i am definitely keeping and finally we have this romper i don't think that this is my style anymore so i'm going to have to part ways with this piece as well this one and this one are both gonna stay and then i have this really cute baby doll dress um, I think it's nice for a weekend. I just love dainty florals. So this one's staying. It's from Paul and Bear. It's just a really nice um, dress to wear at home. It's this one from Pomelo. I think it's really cute for a party or just any daytime or even nighttime event. And lastly, I absolutely adore this piece. This is um, a halter neck dress from Pomelo. Moving on to the white. This is a romper that I got in Bangkok. This dress I got from something borrowed. I'm gonna keep this one for now. Ooh, this is a really pretty white summer dress um, and I've worn it many times and definitely staying. Well, this is like an off-shoulder piece. It's really girly. This is um, my editor's market dress that I got last year. I feel like it's hard to part with my white dresses just because I love them so much. This one is a stay. <gasps> This is, oh my god, I'm going to be keeping most of the white dresses. You know what, I think I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. This dress I wore for my 21st birthday. Um, it was my birthday dress in 2018. You can tell that I really love white dresses. It's really pretty, it's super flowy. This one Ben got me for my birthday last year. I actually did a clothing swap with a girl. This was the one that I got from her. This is from Pomelo. I think it's a really cute um, romper. This is from the tinsel rack. Next, oh, I love this piece. This is from the editor's market. It's another really flowy, nice maxi dress. This is a full-length wrap dress. 
Okay, and finally I have this one Ben's mum and sister got me for Christmas And we are done with the greens Ta-da! This one's from The Closet Lover This is a jumpsuit from Shopo I am keeping this one I have a couple more long dresses This one is like one of my favourite dresses Just because it's super It's just a really nice cut It's very flattering This is like a polka dotted romper I'm just going to keep this for now Finally, this is another of my favourite dresses That I got in Perth two years ago It's like a nice deep V cut Well, I have only one purple dress I don't really wear this anymore this is a maxi dress that i got from ali ages ago i am going to have to give it away so i think i'm gonna keep this one this one's really cute this was a piece that i got from cheap years ago and i just think it's time to let go um and just a couple more dresses this one's from paul and mare this one's from brandy melville we keep this ones i think i got this um maybe in year 12 or first year of uni it doesn't really sit right anymore time to let this one go it's yeah it is time um and this one's a really cute dress i'm just gonna keep this one now i'm gonna part ways with this one just because it's no not really my vibe anymore i think it'll be nice for a wedding or something so i think i'll just keep this one now this one's from shopo it's one of my favorite dresses it's super bright and neon not something that i would usually wear um, but it's nice as a statement piece next we have this smiley piece it's a really cute dress and it has a nice open back but i think i'm just gonna keep it in my wardrobe so i have this yellow dress that i don't think i've worn at all in the last three years this one's gotta go what do you guys think should i keep this one you know what if i'm not sure i should just donate it someone else will love it better and here i have this dress from gunda clothing which i love it's just a really cute summer dress this one is also from gunda clothing it's a romper which i love it's perfect for spring just the florals the colors definitely keeping this one and lastly i got this from cotton on the cutting and everything sits a little bit weird so i am going to part ways with that so this dress i'm keeping when min and i went to la for a holiday it's one of my souvenir pieces okay so this is a black jumpsuit it has some weird markings on it this one's gotta go i don't think this is for me anymore i don't even think i can fit in it same for this one it's a really cute romper okay this dress i've had since i was 14. i think i'm just gonna keep it because it's still in such good condition um if i ever need a black dress i will have one i don't need to get another one i've also had it for ages since uni but i think it's time to let it go because i don't wear this style of dresses anymore this last bit is just jackets this leather blazer from the editor's market that i'm obviously gonna keep my black denim jacket that i'm keeping my black bomber jacket that i'm also keeping um i have this white blazer oversized blazer that i'm gonna keep denim jackets are gonna stay we've had this for ages and i think this one's gonna go i have this really long trench coat you know what i'm gonna keep it for when we can travel and go to somewhere colder so this is pretty much it okay i started filming this at 10 so i have spent the entire day dedicated to cleaning out my closet which is great but we just have one more drawer to go um and then we'll be done so let's move you down there all right hello and welcome right now we're just tackling the shorts all right i think it's really good to have casual shorts so i think i'm gonna keep this one i to be honest haven't touched this at all so this one's gonna go but this is another cute paperback shorts it's really easy to wear around the house or if you're just running some errands another paperback shorts i have this pair of denim shorts i've had them for the longest time these were from factory so i've got so many of these paperback shorts so these honestly are just kind of keep staying with me i think it's like such a nice material it's really good for if you're going somewhere a little further than just to the shops i have one more um paperback shorts that's a little bit more bent orangey now let's go through the denim shorts these are a pair of sports that my mom passed down to me so these ones are definitely staying these ones i've had for some time but i think they're getting a little bit tight so i'm thinking of selling them they're getting a little bit worn out so i am also thinking of donating this pair 
These I got from Ali and I love them. They're again paperback cut. I've got these pair that are pretty long so you can either fold them up or wear them as slightly longer shorts. These are from a collab with Hello Kitty and I think they're just really cute and flattering so they get to stay too. And just another pair of denim shorts. I reckon these all are great um, just for casual wear. But this one I think I'm going to donate just because it's getting really loose and it's not as high waisted as I would like it. That's pretty much it to my closet clean out. We've done the shorts, we've done the tops, skirts, pants, dresses, jackets, and there are just a couple of things left that are winter wear. Um, I mean, we could just go look at it quickly, so give me a second. I will bring you guys to the other side of my bed. Okay. I apologize for the difference in lighting, but we are now on the side of my bed, if you can tell. And we are going to go through the long sleeved sweater type tops. I'm just going to take out those that I'm not keeping. This one I'm gonna let go just because I don't really wear this color and I don't really have a need for it. This black one as well I think I'm just gonna donate it. I think I'm going to let this one go. I've had it for a really long time. I've just got some turtlenecks left and these ones are all pretty nice. That is pretty much it. I've just picked out three that I'm going to donate. Next one, going a little bit further. Um, these ones are not really sweaters, so I'm going to skip that. Can you see me? I'm like, hello! Okay, so now you can see me a little bit better. Um, the one final one that I'm going to go through are some of my denim jeans. Again, I think I'm only going to take out the ones that I don't want anymore. These ones gonna go, they're from the editor's market. This one as well, I got from Lulu's, and they don't really fit me as well anymore, so... I'm going to have to let these ones go. This is from Spau. I am going to be donating this pair. I think that's pretty much the ones that I've got gone. And yeah, that's so exciting. I am actually pretty proud of myself for doing this huge closet declutter. Okay, so ignore the messy background. I am really happy about how much we got done. I can't believe we actually went through everything. That is wild to me. I'm just going to be trying them on, taking photos and uploading them onto my Instagram page where I sell all my pre-loved stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that this inspires you to maybe clean out your closet or shop secondhand from people like me who have too much clothes. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Bye! Before I forget, I wanted to show you guys the cell pile. So everything here will be on my Instagram where I sell my pre-loved clothes. And here is the donate bag. We have some donation people coming to collect them in the next few days, I think. So these will all be donated and yeah.